Hello everyone, Crydex here. Welcome back to our full BZ Plus playthrough where we are figuring out tritium fusion power and the proper priorities. And I think I have a system that's going to work that isn't quite as convoluted as the last thing I thought of with multiple heat exchangers and priority of steam. It's not going to require any of that. I'm pretty sure this solution will work. Um, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump gigajoules like we originally kind of thought about down here and then we were worried about all the extra gigajoules sitting in the pipes potentially being too much power to ever let this run again because it won't need to and my thought to that is well then we'll just pump out the gigajoules we'll pump in when we need it and we'll pump out as soon as we're back to a certain level of power over here and then this will decrease the amount of basically the gigajoules in here will run out and then eventually the megajoules will flow in and take over and power all of that. And so I might need, you know, a few a few pipes here just for some megajoule storage, but that should be fine. And that's the plan. So I think I'm going to deconstruct all of this for now. Well, I'm kind of scared. I almost feel like I should design this separately before we jump into moving things around because it's going to be a little complicated. So let's just design this um, kind of out here where there's no construction bots and try to figure things out. So this one is the gigajoules. And then we're going to have plasma heaters. And I'm just getting all the pieces laid out. Then we're going to have this one. OK, so this is the core. I don't actually need nanobots to be running right now. Okay, so fusion. We will have a heat exchanger. Let's just get these set up first. Those are there. And then we have, uh, we need these high capacity ones. These are 100 megawatts each. So we need um, eight of these. So, move this over. Oh, I'll just move these for now. Okay, so we're going to have heat pipes. Where are those pesky heat pipes? I don't think I have any. Also, quick announcement. Um, this is probably after the fact a little bit, but we are launching a Crydania Angel Bobs community server. So if you're interested in playing multiplayer Angel Bobs with some other awesome Factorio players, uh, make sure to join the Discord and you can get more information there. It's free, it's up 24-7, you can play as much as you like, and it's a really awesome way to meet some other Factorio people, have some fun, and I'm going to be playing on it. Um, I don't know how often, but I am going to be part of the launch stream, which is going to be Sunday um, 8-14, which is probably in the past by now, or it might be today. I'm not sure when this episode is releasing, but... I'm also going to stream again on Monday, 8.15 at 6 p.m. GMT. So if you're interested in joining, come along and it'll be a great time. Okay, so there we go. That's all we need for 800 megawatts, two plasma heaters running constantly. I know I technically don't need that much because the one pla this plasma heater won't run constantly, but it's fine. Um, and then I need these guys. Oh, we also have problems with water now. Hold on. We need to space this out. Because essentially each of these requires a thousand water a second. Shoot. I can't quite remember. I think... Let's see. Factorio pipe throughput. If I have two pipes between pumps, what's the flow rate? Two is 3,000. Okay, good. So I can then do this. Well, what about three? Three pipes, I still get 2,250. Perfect. So what I'm thinking is um, a pipe here, here, and then the water pump which can provide 2,000. 
And so that'll provide enough for two of these heat exchangers. Okay. And then I'm going to need a square. Otherwise, the water flow is going to be weird there. So. So something like that. If I wanted to, I could be doubly confident at this at this point. Is it worth I mean, I save a bunch of entities this way by doubling up. Oh, sorry, I need a pump. Um, yeah, I think I'll do it this way. What I was going to say is I could just do one water pump for every single one, but that doesn't seem necessary here. Okay. So then we copy this, flip it upside down. Uh, is that the same as rotating? Not quite. Substations. And we're on this one. Should I be on the inner one? Does it even matter? I don't think it matters. Let's go on the inner one. The heck? Oh, some of these things are actually built. That's why it's confused. Okay. So there we go. This is my 800 megawatt build to power the plasma heaters. Now I do need some steam um, measurements. If I measure steam on the tip, that will make sure we keep enough power. So we'll measure steam from here. I may or may not need another layer of heat pipes. We'll have to test that. Okay, so then from there, we're gonna have plenty of signals. So we'll connect up to these substations. So thing number one is the megajoules coming from the tritium breeding fusion. So that's gonna be here. What's up, Dave? How's it going? Good to see ya. Yes, my wall of text idea on Discord. Um, okay, so the megajoules are going to flow in here. This will give the tritium to the rest of the base. And then this other one. And then all the power from these is going to be connected to the two plasma heaters. Which I guess should be... We get those can go across um, just to keep it um, more condensed. We'll put the plasma heaters on this side and can't really rotate them. I guess I could go this way. That'd be slightly better. I don't remember which one's which, but um, this one can directly link. I might do a few squares of backup. Yeah, just in case. Um, and that'll be... Wait, what the heck? It's like the blueprint is super confused because I rotated it, but it's not a rotatable building. Um, anyway, so we'll do that. I think I, I guess I can just put them right next to each other. So that'll be the deuterium. No, I can't of this that'll be the deuterium plasma to tritium breeding the tritium will come over here we'll gas mix that'll be the tritium plasma that will get pumped out um this way towards the fusion reactor back here that will or maybe up here that will receive that tritium plasma it will send I guess the closer this is to the other, um, this heater, the better. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a network here of these pipes. And we're going to have some pump action. So the magnetic containment pump, that's the wrong kind of pipe, but that's fine. So we're just going to do that. And we're going to pump in with a certain condition. We're going to pump out on a certain condition. 
And we're just going to make sure we have enough. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need 800 storage on the other side of this. That also can't... This pump's never going to be on. Uh, it's just to provide a one-way... Well, wait. I guess it... Maybe it will need to be on. I'm not sure yet. Um, these are the wrong pipes anyway, so hold on. So then this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'll pump out into there, into this chamber. Which should always have space because it can't go backwards that way. And then from this chamber, or this one, that's where it's confusing. Um, we can pump... Uh, hold on, we're going to have to slightly change this. Guess we'll just put this here. Um, yeah, so then this will be the gigajoules that connect to the other one. Which I guess we'll put up there. And that can produce somewhere in the realm of 1.4 gigawatts. Depends on how much this is eating, but also it's going to... I don't even know. Um, so we'll set this up similarly. We're going to need to disconnect those powers, and they're actually still too close. I think this should be far enough. I might go a little farther, though, because I might end up wanting to go down and over. But this is already 800. The most this can do is 2 gigawatts, so maybe it's fine. Um, disconnect that. And then basically keep this going. So now that's 12, and this would be 16. Or 1.6 gigawatts essentially, and that powers everything. We'll leave it like that. And that's the base power. This hooks up to the base. Where's the nearest power connection? We'll do that. Okay, there we go. So that's base power. This is its own little self-sustained power network to power the plasma heaters. And I think we're well on the way to having this solved. Now I just need the conditions for these pumps, and I need more of them. Oh, I don't have graphite. Graphite. Earbuds being weird. There we go. Okay. All right. Do we have the graphite yet? No. Here they come. You know what I should do is upgrade bot speed. We have we have the technology. Another however many percent that is should be helpful. Okay. Magnetic containment. Oh. Definitely need some more plastic. There's plastic right here. What are you guys doing? I really do wish there was a way to kind of keep bots distributed amongst the factory. You know, if bots are idle, you could like put a setting that says, hey, go find an empty, you know, thingy and put at least five bots in it or something, just so you have a better distribution. They end up clumping in certain areas, which can get annoying. Okay, um, so let's finish this build, and then we'll have to put it into existence. 
So, the conditions. The conditions are what are going to be complicated. So, this goes up to here. And this is going to have the steam signal on green. So, we'll pump this direction if we're below a certain amount. So, steam is less than, we'll call it 2,000. Maybe, maybe 5,000. I don't know. Then we'll be pumping gigajoules that way. Does this need to be connected? I actually think it needs to be like this. No, it needs to be both. We might actually need this many pumps. Hold on. Let's think about it. So... Is there a reason that should be... See, this can turn off so that this gets used up. But this should never need to go back to here. I guess I'm being a little silly. Because if this needs to go back to here, then why did we pump it out in the first place? The only reason it ends up here is because we didn't need that many. So I think that connection is kind of useless. It'll pump out to here as excess, and then that'll empty out, and then this one will just be on. I think that's the plan. Okay, so if steam is less than 5k, we fill this up. As soon as steam is... I don't even know. Greater than 10,000 then we'll pump out that'll be off at that point so this will empty out into here and then this guy the main one will pump only if steam greater than 15,000 then we'll send the newly made stuff and this will send the same so this will just pass right on through so I guess we actually don't need that actually we do because this needs to have enough space one two three four five six seven eight we need a couple more a couple more storage squares there Maybe we'll make it look a little nicer. So I need that. Um, and this one will also pump if steam is greater than 10k. So the hope is that in between 10k and 15k, we would use up all of these gigajoules in the base. Because otherwise these are going to be competing. And I can't measure if this is empty. Interesting. We empty out the steam, it all goes into here. Or empty out the gigajoules, it all goes into here. This one is going to continue making, so this one will back up. And then when it's greater than 15k, we'll send new gigajoules into this to make power. <laughs> um, it'll go up here. I guess that one doesn't need to be underground. Um, let's think, let's think. So, we will only be sending gigajoules to power this part of the base, the main base, if the steam in the plasma heaters is to a sufficient level. Which, by the way, I should probably add a second tank. So that that amount of steam means more power. 
if it's between so between 10 and 15,000, I'm hoping to be able to get rid of all these excess gigajoules that were in here. And I guess we can even reduce that further by doing that. So that kind of minimizes, technically I could make it smaller if I really wanted to, but that's fine. Um, so that minimizes the amount of gigajoules stuffed into here that then we'll reuse between 10 and 15,000. Once we're at 15,000, this will just stay on and we'll keep powering the base. Then the gigajoules will run out from inside this buffer and then the megajoules that we've stored up will get used and those will slowly run out and then we'll cycle again. The main important thing is that during that cycle, we have enough gigajoules in this guy that our base stays powered. I guess that's the fear is to have some sort of weird fluctuation. But I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it'll just hashtag work. And so we're gonna try it. I'm gonna just leave it up there and I'm gonna connect the gases from down here. And I'll bring the gas mixer up as well. So, I guess the one thing we need before we put this into full effect is the new, gosh. You know, I need to automate water pumps. I'm tired of handcrafting these. They take forever. They take forever and I have really no reason I haven't done this yet. Um, this is literally how long it takes. Done. Looks like I don't have pipes. Why do I not have pipes? Probably because we're using them all in other stuff. Yeah, that's definitely the case. Um, why don't I say, how about I get five pipes a second? And then just for kicks, let's... Oh yeah, it's lead. Whoops. We'll just make a few extra real quick. Okay, so do I need anything else? I do need more of the high tier... Um, these guys. 10 and 5, that's a pretty good number. That's 500 megawatts, that's good. I think that might be enough, or at least close to it. Um, we'll just let that keep running. This is exciting. I am so excited to get basically infinite power. Although, it'll, we're gonna need another one of these before long. Because of all, I'm going to start using the core mining that takes, you know, 40 megawatts or whatever. So I'm going to leave all this in place, and then I'll need some advanced fluid handling to take deuterium gas up, which is connected here. And I can just bring that up to the new area. Okay, so there's deuterium gas. Tritium gas will already be up here. And then... This will be the tritium gas maker. Deuterium is gonna turn a corner like this. That'll be the deuterium. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're doing the wrong thing. Are we? Yeah, yeah, sorry, that's the wrong place. It's on the on the fusion itself. It's over here. That the tritium comes out. And comes over here. The gas needs to go in there. Yeah, okay, that was correct. And then the tritium gets mixed with the deuterium. Yes, yes, in here. So then the tritium comes over and goes up or whatever. 
I don't know if that's the right connection. So that should work. Okay, and then this guy needs to be connected here. Now I should do an overflow. Like its first priority should be to the right. Um, I don't really think it matters, but we could end up in a bad situation. I'm trying to think of how that it would happen, but sometimes weird things happen. You know, things stall out and it just doesn't end up working out. So, so there we go. We will always give deuterium gas first to running the tritium breeder before we make the tritium, the DT mixture, which then turns into the tritium fusion stuff, which then we need to connect up to here with some more pipes. So, need to connect that. And I need a bunch more magnetic pipes. Apart from that, I think, I think we might be good. Move everything and see if this crazy contraption actually works. I also never set a limit on this, which should be done. Nor did I set a request. Okay. And then magnetic pipes would be worth automating. Cool. What's a stack of these? A hundred? Yeah, one stack should be good. And that stacks to 50. Okay. And one interesting thing is I do need regular underground pipes for those. So those need to be accessible. Okay. Julio. All right, is anything broken currently? We're still getting all the plates. Checking. Um, the iron looks good. That looks good, whatever. I'm not seeing empty belts. That's all that I really care about. No empty belts. Sweet, okay, everything seems to be running from a plate perspective. Um, things seem to be good over here. Nothing seems to be going too crazy over here. Modules are still running, but they're catching up. Ooh, we're fully caught up on speed mods. That's cool. Sciences are still not backed up. Blue is also not backed up. But it's getting there. Purple. It's actually all at pretty similar levels. 5,000, 6,000. So that means I could afford a research. Tritium suppressed. D to D fusion efficiency. I don't really care a ton about that. That gets you a little bit more energy when you do the tritium breeding. Mm. Deuterium heating efficiency is still a big deal. D to T fusion efficiency one. They both say 1.4 gigajoules, so I assume it's rounding, which is kind of annoying. I would like to know exactly how much. Um, but that could be a good recipe. Oh, there it is. Plus 50 megawatts to 1450. So that's another 50 megajoules every time that happens. This one is the deuterium plasma power being better. That's not as helpful. And then finally... D to T heating. I think I get the most bang for my buck out of either the heating of deuterium being cheaper, because that one happens a lot. I think this is actually the most bang for my buck, percentage-wise. 
I could be wrong, but that's my guess. So we will do that. Um, and then... Yeah, I need some of those pipes before I can finish this build. How are we doing? I have eight. Copper cable. Interesting. I don't have that provided. So I kind of need to provide that. So let me do such things. I think 3.7 a second is fine, given it'll run for a very, very, very long time. And just real quick, I will run a bunch of these. I don't care about productivity. There we go, 33 a second. I'll just wait until they're empty. And then I'll send that to the logistics network just to jumpstart it. Okay. Now they're going a little faster. Still not as fast as I'd like. We'll, we'll need some more of those researches. Get those bots flying. All right, 11 and 13, that's better. 15, there we go. Now we're going. Now we're flowing. I think 25 might be enough. Actually, since I can craft a few more of these. Oh gosh, this is an ugly handcrafting. 40 copper cables by hand. Okay, let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? My base is completely out of power and I have to kickstart it? Yes, that is the worst, I guess. Alright, so then... Deconstruct these two. Some heat pipes. Plasma heaters. Gas mixer. These two. These guys. And hopefully... Nanobots can just go to town here. I might need to grab some more heat pipes. But it looks like we're doing pretty good. Okay, pick up those. Looks like I have enough. Water well pumps. Okay, so then finally this guy, did I hook it up the right way? I did. Lucky. These should all be powered by this network, which needs a kickstart. So we do need to connect the whole base together for a second here. Um, that's the wrong one. Or it, we want the tritium one. There we go. Okay, I was worried about that. Oh, interesting. It only hooks up to the top one. Okay, so that'll start running. Oh, I, we, I need way more of these high capacities. And then this guy should be getting DT mix. Oh, I never hooked up the DT mixture, did I? You're the DT plasma. There it is. DT plasma. 
Okay, so now that's running. Didn't hook it up. There we go. Uh-oh. No power. Okay, so you've made gigajoules that are not connected because apparently that doesn't connect. Yes, I think this is one of those times we can safely combine. So now it has gigajoules in it, right? Because steam is less. That's really inconvenient. I need one more of those high capacity turbines. I think this is going to work. I think it will work. Okay. all a blur I'm running so fast there you go do I have enough pipes yep we're good on pipes these are just slow with all the copper okay over to the fusion plant we go Okay, so that's as hot as it gets. These are not working because I don't have enough pumps. That's a silly thing to run out of. There we go. Okay, so that'll start filling up, especially once we disconnect it from base power. And then that fills up to 5,000. That stops pumping. Well, that should be 5,000. Okay, so that's what I was worried about. We need some more holding for the mega jewels, because then that'll consume the heat here. Uh -huh. Yep, this is this is the thing we were worried about. It should balance out better over time, because right now we don't have enough tritium. So I think a solution, honestly, just for the time moment, time being moment, the moment of the time. If I could find it, I can't find it. Let's just copy that one. Is that in the wrong spot? Wait, you mean I can't hook this up here? Uh oh. That. Does that break everything? I assumed you would be able to hook this up to the same one. Crap. That's not actually an input. That is deceptive. That is a deceptive. Flippin' input. Does a pump happen to work on it? It does. Oh my gosh, that's lucky. Okay, there we go. So now that will use up the mega jewels, and then this is the giga jewels. Uh, no, the giga jewels did flow in, and I never had a pump over here, so this one does work. 
Okay, so then that'll run until this steam starts to get used up. Oh, the problem with this... Ah, shucks. They all need to have a tank, don't they? If I'm going to do it this way. Because otherwise, yeah, these are all run out of power, and the only one running is this. I guess that's fine. It slows things down for a second, which is not fine. Never mind. It's not fine. Yeah, these all need their own... Um, tank. Okay, that's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We'll figure this out. Yes, you're right that it doesn't look like it's connected whatsoever. But that's because the model's kind of one of those weird connections. All right, and then this is the connection. Okay, we do need this power, and this is the green. Okay, once that gets used up, which it will in a second. Well, crap. We don't have any gigajoules because of why? This, this isn't powered. Okay. Let's just hook up base power again for a second. Oh, that's not close enough to connect. Crap. Well, might have to use good old-fashioned medium power poles. Okay, now how did that break again? The gigajoules aren't... That's so weird. They were working. Maybe it's because the megajoules are attached. This is a weird... Only a weird setup. It should work though, but I guess the pumps need power. Okay, now it's got gigajoules in it. Okay. Something is very wrong. What is going on here? The water's not working. Hmm. Well, I guess it's because the base doesn't have power, so that could be the issue. We'll leave that all connected for a second. I need some more of those uh, high temperature, what are they called? High capacity turbines. Two and four, that's 200 megawatts more. Hopefully that's enough. I think this is all correct. It just needs to properly spin up. I think it's the issue we're having. But there could be a missing... There could be an issue, and I don't know what it is. So I guess we'll see. Okay, let's disconnect these again. Not working because of tritium gas. Okay, there we go. Now we're burning the megajoules. 
because we burned up all the Giga Jewels. And now that's running. And that's sticking there. Now we're pumping Giga Jewels into the main base. Beautiful. Now these are running. And then this is still secondary base. Not secondary, but you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah, and the Mega Jewels are being completely used up now, so this is going to get colder and colder. And then eventually it'll stop running. Well, it won't stop running. Sorry, the steam in this tank will go down to 5,000. So it'll still be running. That's the important part. And as soon as we get less than 5,000, then we pump in a bunch of Giga Jewels. So that'll happen soon with how quickly this heats and unheats. Yeah, tell you, you're not wrong. I wish I had high throughput accumulators because the problem is I would need to be able to handle like 400 megawatt surges. I need, you know, a thousand accumulators, 10,000 accumulators. It's crazy. Because an accumulator only can flow at 300 kilowatts. So a thousand of them is still only 300 megawatts. Okay, so now the steam's reducing. There it is, 5,000 gigajoules flow in. At some point, it's going to let gigajoules in. Right? There we go. Yep, it just let in gigajoules. That'll go back above 5,000. And now the gigajoules are all pumped out. It's not enough Mega Jewel holding here, I think. For the amount of Giga Jewels that get thrust in. And then this stops running. That is a problem. Okay. So I need... Yeah, this is... We really need a magnetic containment tank. Even if it's very small capacity. Um... You know, even one that could just hold 500 or 1,000. I guess 500 is worse than nine pipes, but even if it was just like 2,000 instead of the 25,000, that would be very nice. Because I essentially am just going to have to plop down a bunch of these pipes to be able to hold the Mega Jewels so that the Tritium can keep running. The other option... Well... Yeah, I mean, this basically needs to run non-stop, I think. Right? I think so. How did this... We put this in somewhere. So the one with both... At least I thought we had done it. Maybe I didn't. Didn't I do the one with tritium? Yeah, here it is. Um, you know, Teus, that's not a crazy idea. It is wasteful, but it's not crazy. I mean, <laughs> it feels kind of bad to waste power like that, but it would work. Um, anyway, so here's this build. So the plasma heater on DT runs only half the time. Well, I guess more like maybe 60% of the time that the deuterium one's running. So essentially what that means is it's okay if this one takes a pause once in a while. Um, Trying to think of a different way to do this. Um, we could have more steam storage for each one, which should enable. More heat storage. Then each degree represents more steam. Is that good? 
Or is that bad? Is that the same as Steam storage? Then essentially the difference between the 5,000 and the 10,000 would be bigger. I guess the 10,000 doesn't really matter. It's just maybe I should make that 10,000. So there's less of a delay. I don't know. For now, we'll do that. We're so close. Uh, come on. Just use up that last little gigajoule. You can do it. Wait, where's that gigajoule even going? I guess the heat isn't quite... A thousand? I don't know. Yeah, it's heating up these last ones. Come on. There it is. Almost. And megajoules. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? It's that close? Here, I'll add a heat pipe. That'll do it. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now we're consuming the mega jewels. This is running again. That gets the gas mixer running again. That gets tritium fusion running again. That gets giga jewels filling up in here. Steam is greater than 20,000, we'll say. And that's when it'll flow into here. But then we're going to use it all up. Yep, okay, so then that'll start decreasing in temperature. The base should be doing okay on power. So these are the real base numbers now not involving plasma heaters, which is good to know. Our base is close to a gigawatt at this point. Um, so that's filling up with gigajoules, which is great. Steam should be reducing soon. We're getting close to 500. And then we'll see what happens. 10K is our cutoff. That will grab some gigajoules and less than 20k which we already have so it's building up in here for a minute there we go finally it grabbed the gigajoules Grabbed 40 of them, which is a lot. Yeah, more pipes would help because the temperature is always down to 500 by the time this gets gigajoules. So more pipes mean it would allow more gigajoules to reheat everything. More pipes and more steam would help. Um because we're already back to the same issue. Now this is maybe fine. Well, no, because it needs to keep running. We have enough for now, but that's, if the base was needing all of the power, this wouldn't work right. Um, the other issue I noticed was this pump. It's like the fluid was sloshing back and forth, mega jewel wise, so it wasn't working right. Let 
Now the other thought I had is what if I just connected two of these? If this one was only gigajoules and this one was only megajoules, then I think we'd be okay. I mean, I have one. Let's just kind of see what it would look like to try it. If I put one down here, and then instead I had it hooked up here from the Mega Jewel side. Let's see if that works. You know, Teus, that is an interesting thought. Does that work? No, I don't think it does. I'm guessing there's a special tag that pipes have to have, rather than, you know, pipes work unless it's the capability to use the plasma is removed. Um, so yeah, now here's the issue, is this one's heating that one. This is almost getting higher priority, I think. Well, the Mega Jewels will run out eventually. Let me just nuke those Mega Jewels for now. Oh, I know. This can only run if if what if steam is high or if steam is low oh gosh well, we kind of want it to just always be going I don't know this really is tricky for now let's just let it run and see what happens because we haven't tried this with a full cycle yet You know, the other thing I didn't factor in is these use 1,200, and this only produces 100. So, that's an issue. That I kind of forgot about. I guess because we're using a maximum of 800, that's equally distributed amongst all of these, so they actually never are using the full amount of steam. Like, they're never using 100% of their own capacity. So that works out okay. Um, these are cooling off. Okay, good. So as they continue to cool... Temperature here is 540... 5.30, and soon we're going to see steam run out, 5.20, and stopped. Okay, so now the steam is going to drop in here, and then we hit 20k, that one stops pumping out, so a few gigajoules build up in there. And then this one hits 10k here in a second, pumps out. This one gets gigajoules, heats everything right the flip back up. Steam starts building again. As soon as we hit 10k again, this one will pump everything out if there was anything in there. Okay. Cool. Now the other thing that I've realized that we need to do, I think after this experiment here, that will help is decrease this one because that 
leaves 10,000 temperature change worth of units building up before we put it down here. If this goes to like 15,000, then we'll be fine. And I think this one should just always be on. I think I just removed this condition, period. And so now there will be less. I mean, we could even do 13,000 or something. Okay, so we're cooling off. 560. Steam's at 23k is about full just because of the fluid flow rates and stuff. Doesn't ever quite get to 100%. Um, okay, temperature's dropping down to 500. This will start emptying. There it goes. And then... This one will stop at 13k. And there it goes. This builds up a little bit. This one should start soon. We should see gigajoules flow into here. Tank almost immediately starts going back up in steam. To There we go, 10,000. Now we're not getting any more gigajoules. Cool. Okay. So that'll fluctuate kind of back and forth, but we've gotten within all of the limits, so nothing breaks on each cycle. Nice. There's a lot of variables we could tweak here. We could have added more steam tanks, adding more heat pipes. We could have added more storage for the megajoules. We could tweak these numbers. You know, everyone's build is going to be different if you're going to do a similar thing, but this works, and that's the important part. So now... Yeah, we're just going to go back and forth. Now, why are these numbers so different? Hold on. That's an issue. Kind of. Well, I guess because these are the front ones. This is the back one to provide full power. That's right. Okay. And the gigajoules out here is going to continue building up. Just because we're producing more than we need at the moment. Sweet! <sighs> that felt good. Okay, that took a whole episode to figure out and get implemented. And what does this all mean exactly? Not 100% sure. I think what it means is that we have somewhere around 1600 megawatts to play with, 1.6 gigawatts. Um, probably about, you know, Well, subtract its own cost. Hold on, yeah, we need to do that. So if we subtract its own cost, I should get the right recipes for these though. I'm more deuterium efficient now. So this one, no, sorry, th this one. Deuterium plasma product. We have the one that's point, how fast? 0.68 seconds. So this recipe, product, 0.68, we've got that one. Okay. So that's the one going there. These are all, I think, pretty much the same numbers. I mean, the electrolyzers, I guess, kind of matter. They're not a huge chunk of power, but basically 500 megawatts away from our six so we get 1.1 gigawatts is roughly our base's capacity from fusion 1.1 gigawatts and then um we still have our nuclear over here it's still it's still tanking at 480 so our actual base power we can consume about 1.6 gigawatts ish we still have old steam power too i should probably delete that uh, I just need to fill these out. And yes, deuterium heating. Thank you. I did upgrade that. So that's this one. Point. Oh, wait. Point five. Oh, that's the DT plasma. Sorry. There we go. That one. 
Sweet. Okay, and now this is a build which I can copy paste. I might move this down a little bit now that everything's figured out. Um, these could probably be closer. Which is going to uh, delete a lot of power, but that's fine. This is infinite power. It uses zero resources, so I don't feel bad about... <laughs> yeah, rip 300 gigajoules. There's still a decent amount left in these pipes as soon as it gets repositioned, so we'll be fine. Okay, now, why you no work? Not that. Gosh dang it. There we go. Okay, and then these are, of course, in the wrong spot. In places that don't yet exist. Wait, why is this not working? No input fluid. Oh, the pumps. Ran out of pumps again, and of course, the two places I needed them were the two places... Well, I guess there were three, but that was a nice fail there. Okay, now we're good. Accumulator's charging up again. Sweet! Alright, well, I do need to end the episode there. A weird fraction... Yeah, I mean, they're definitely, they're definitely not perfect, but this is a pretty good build. I mean, I could make it look nicer by moving a few more things around and, you know, maybe someday we'll perfect it now that we know what, you know, we know all the building blocks and the connections and the numbers we would want. So we could condense this further if we had such a desire, but I'm fine not doing that, so... We will call this a day, take a nice little screenshot here of our full, uh, fully, what should we call it? Fully circuited tritium fusion power build. And then when we get helium, we'll have to do all this over again. So good times, good times. But yeah, for those of you on YouTube, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next episode.